Hey y'all, welcome to my tiny kitchen. If your kitchen looks anything like this, you might feel intimidated to make a big meal in such a small space. But I'm gonna show you that making a giant breakfast is not as intimidating as it sounds. First things first, coffee, obviously. It's important to go ahead and get all of your plates, glasses, linens, butter, jam, literally anything that you're gonna use to serve. Go ahead and get that out. Let's get cooking. Whatever takes the longest is what you need to get started on first. Bacon and grits. So I'm grabbing my bacon now and the milk for my grits, which I'll grab in a second. I grew up cooking bacon in a cast iron skillet on the stove, but when I'm cooking for a crowd, I like to put it on a wire rack on a sheet tray in the oven. Cooking your bacon in the oven saves you an eye on the stove so that you can make use of the space that you have. When I'm cooking grits, y'all, I like to do a mixture of half milk and half chicken stock. It makes the grits super creamy, but also so flavorful. I put my pot on my back burner. It will save me space for later on whenever I have to be a little bit more hands-on on the stove. And then, like Donkey on Trek says, I'm making waffles. I like to whisk my sugar and my eggs together really well before I add any of the rest of my ingredients. I'm making waffles today because it's like you're a dog person or you're a cat person or you're a waffle person or you're a pancake person. Personally, I'm a waffle person and also a dog person, so I think those two go two and two together. I would love to hear about team pancake or team waffle in the comments, so have at it. This recipe calls for oil over butter. You can use whatever you want. I've always stuck to oil for this recipe just because that's what the recipe calls for and that's what I grew up on. But if you wanna go with butter, it's totally cool. This is plain yellow cornmeal. I'm gonna scoop and level it with my finger because dishes are overrated. I am not perfect, y'all aren't either. I make messes when I cook too, this is real life. So I'm gonna give it a quick clean up before I get started. I like to clean up as I go just because ain't nobody got time for a bunch of dishes and wiping down counters after you've already spent so much time cooking in your kitchen. Up until this year, I have yet to own a ladle. You can do everything with a ladle. You can ladle soups, you can like do sauces over chicken. You can also ladle waffle batter or pancake batter in your skillet. I got this fancy new waffle maker that I'm really excited to use. It's a Belgian style waffle maker. My work here is done. Look at these. They're so crispy and brown. Look at the bubbles. They're gonna be so perfect. I'm gonna get a couple more batches of these going, but for now, I let them sit on a wire rack so that I can pop them back in the oven and heat them when I'm ready to serve. All right, y'all, we're in the home stretch. Hash browns are next. The secret to diner style Waffle House extra crispy hash browns are two skillets because you can get them in a thinner layer in each skillet. It's okay to totally use your hands and transfer. You want about even amounts of hash browns in each skillet. You want the first kiss of the hash brown in the hot skillet to make it super golden brown and then we'll give it a stir. So this is breakfast patty sausage that I'm gonna get going in my cast iron skillet on the back. Just because my sausage takes a little bit less maneuvering than my hash browns do. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot of counter space to work with so I like to keep my crock of stirring utensils up in a cabinet. Oh, they're so creamy! Y'all, look at these creamy grits. They are going to be so delicious. Now that my hash browns are mostly crispy in the two separate skillets, I'm gonna combine them into one to get an eye on the stove available for my eggs. Look at this crispy bacon. Even though the oven's off, it's still super hot, so I'm gonna put my waffles back in to heat up while I finish the rest of my breakfast. I'm gonna cook eggs two ways because nobody can ever agree on the correct way to cook them and I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's fried over easy, but because we have picky people in the world, I'm gonna make scrambled and fried. All right, y'all, the eggs were the last step. We did it. Giant breakfast in a tiny kitchen. I can't wait to sit down and enjoy all of this food. 
I am so excited to eat this breakfast. Bacon, I'm gonna go for two pieces because it's my absolute favorite breakfast meat. Hash browns, these are not scattered, smothered, and covered the way that I like them, but they're gonna be just as good. My prize fried egg on the top, I'm so excited. It's gonna have that, look at that, the runny yolk in the center, which is my, it's like the sauce for breakfast. The runny yolk gets everywhere. I'm gonna pass them with scrambled eggs. Those are for people who don't know what a good thing is. Grits and a waffle. So much maple syrup. This is my giant breakfast that I made in my tiny kitchen. Be sure to subscribe to Hey Y'all, like, comment, share, and if you're watching on YouTube, click the bell. We'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.